Uh, I deployed to Iraq 2007 to 2008 um, to Kirkuk, Iraq, uh, on, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. For me specifically, I've encountered 15 IEDs. Out of the 15 that my vehicle struck, uh, three of them were catastrophic. We were on a normal mission um, heading to a town called Busharia, and we just turned off the major highway. Um, less than 30 seconds uh, went by and everything was normal and in a split second things changed um, for me and the guys inside my truck. Uh, we were struck by two 155 uh, artillery shell IEDs um, that were buried in the center line of the road. We just suffered quite a bit of damage um, and we were also ambushed. Definitely a lot of concussion there. I mean it's a, it's a bomb. Um, so that, that's how I received my traumatic brain injury and along with the events that I went through over in Iraq gave me PTSD as well. This is something for me that I battle with every day, um, my service in the military. The reason why I don't disclose all information uh, of, of what actually happened at the instance of me getting hit because it brings back memories of, of war and, and horror. The medical advisors told me that I couldn't stay in because of my injuries that I received in Iraq, my traumatic brain injury and the PTSD that I suffer from. The biggest adjustment, you know, is just trying to figure out where to go in life as being a young man uh, coming back from war and being at a crossroads in your life, whether of pulling the trigger and, and either coming home to your family or taking someone else's life. It's something that I don't think a civilian can grasp. They, they think that they just see these movies and, and see all this combat and how, and how America is portrayed around the world as being the toughest. In America, we are the toughest, but we also have feelings, you know, and we have to work through those feelings. I became involved with Warriors for Freedom through Major Ed Polito. And one of the things that Warriors for Freedom is strong about is peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networking. And when I met Brett, Brett was able to put me in contact with other soldiers that were having some of the same things that I was going through and, and dealing with on a normal day-to-day -day basis. But plus, Brett was also there for me too. Um, he wanted to be involved. He wanted to know how he could help me and, and how he could put things together. For you guys that don't know, Trey Kennard is a professional supercross rider. He's one of the best in, in the world. And Brett was able to set that up for me to get to go out there and meet my hero. And with going, with going in and meeting Trey and getting to talk to him, Brett really grasped the concept of the motocross. And from there on out, Brett told me to run with it. And from there on out, I've been trying to use the motocross platform um, to build and to reach other veterans that are in similar situations as myself. So I think one thing that, that really, um, you know, kind of drew me in to, to Josh and, and Warriors for Freedom was um, this aspect of, of suffering or pain. You know, seeing a story where someone has overcome something that, um, that seems near impossible, you know, and hearing Josh, I think it was uh, 15 roadside bombs and, and like, I'm like, man, like, you think after like first five, you'd be like, uh, mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you can still hear it, him saying, um, the 15th one got me, you know, and it's like, man, like, that's just an amazing story to hear and then now to see Josh back here. Um, having served this country and still um, willing to to help out with um, you know with Warriors for Freedom and um, you know basically just finding his feet again as as a um, as a citizen of the United States, I was encouraged and um, you know it brought a realness to it about me, especially since Josh you know has the same passion as me, he likes to ride a motorcycle. It takes it back to me to go, man, what, what, where would I be had um, you know, had I joined the service, you know, what, where would I be in that same situation? And you understand um, love or grace from someone, you, you want to give it to someone else. And I think the same thing is true um, with this, you know, when you understand the, the, the sacrifice that, that they're making for you, the, the time they're spending for you, you in turn want to give, uh, give back a little more. So um, I think that's the biggest thing, just um, taking a step back and, and uh, realizing what this really means. Being able to meet a hero did so much wonderful things for me. It gave me uh, more confidence in myself to continue on doing the right thing. And when I'm out there riding my bike, it helps me with my PTSD and traumatic brain injury, but it also gives me the platform and the ability to go out there and reach the other veterans that will, might be out the track riding that day or just be out there watching. And with, with being able to have a, a piece of equipment that is so desperately used 
inside there, it just gives me that way to reach out and touch um, more people. And I'm so blessed that I was able to, to, to be able to meet Brett and Major Ed and, and be able to, to create a program to better others' lives. What Warrior to Freedom has done for me has given me the opportunity to spread the message of being able to be re readjust to civilian life and being able to help other soldiers that are coming back readjust and deal with the emotions that they are coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan with.